Are you ready for a super intense arm workout that you can do almost anywhere thanks to the good old fashioned muscle building benefits of calisthenics? Aren't we all? And you're gonna love this. What's up guys? Austin Dotson here from Blue Star Nutraceuticals. We annihilate! Time to show them we ain't playing from the gate. Dominate by some rest bar while we elevate. Dominate, make a bone shape, make a vibrate. And today, I'm at Global Fitness Studio just outside beautiful sunny Los Angeles, California. Welcome to part two of three in my calisthenics series. Today, we're hitting buys and tries. For this workout, we're doing three sets of six exercises with two minutes of rest between each set. Each exercise has a set number of reps, so there's no need for a timer today. And if you get tripped up or need a break, no problem. You can always hit pause and check out the complete workout listed for you in the description below. And just before we get started, remember that every great workout starts with a great warm up. So take five to 10 minutes to get your blood pumping and then let's get to work. We'll put a link in the description to a great warm up if you're looking for something to follow along. Well, it's time to go. Let's work. Exercise number one, chin ups. Grab the bar with the underhand grip so that your palms are facing toward you around shoulder width. Pull with your elbows as if you're trying to tuck them into your front pockets. Exercise number two, Australian pull-ups. This looks and feels like an inverted push-up. Set up under a chest height barbell and hold onto it as you move your feet out from under you. Your body should be straight like a board. Pull your chest up toward the bar as if you're doing an upside down push-up. The higher the bar and the closer your feet are under you, the easier these will be so adjust accordingly to meet your level. Exercise number three, close grip chin-ups. Grab the bar with the underhand grip, palms facing toward you, hands as close together as possible, even touching if you can do it. Retract your shoulders and think about pulling with your elbows, trying to tuck them into your back pockets to engage the lats. With the underhand grip, it will engage your biceps more than traditional pull-ups, which can be hard to train with bodyweight workouts. Exercise number four, close grip Australian pull-ups. This looks and feels like an inverted close grip push-up. Set up under a chest height barbell and hold onto it as you move your feet out from under you. Your body should be straight like a board. Pull your chest up toward the bar as if you're doing an upside down push-up. The higher the bar and the closer your feet are under you, the easier these will be so adjust accordingly to meet your level. Exercise number five, triangle push-ups. Start in the regular push-up position, except with your index finger and thumbs making a triangle shape under your face. As you lower yourself down, aim your nose for the center of the triangle and focus on using your triceps rather than your chest. Exercise number six, bench dips. Sit in between two parallel benches that are slightly less than legs length away. Place your hands on the edge of the bench and your heels on the other. Lower body by bending arms until you feel a slight stretch in your chest or shoulders. Raise your body and repeat. And there we have it. Brand new buys and tries brought to you by the power of calisthenics. Our goal at Blue Star Nutraceuticals is to help you build the body you want by giving you the tools you need and the power to use them. That's why we share these videos. If there's something you wanna see or anything we can do to help, just let us know in the comments below. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you'll never miss another workout. And don't forget, there's still one more to go in this calisthenics series. So I'll see y'all soon. Until next time, y'all keep training hard.